got a giddy up in your head. I hit to my giddy up. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was going to talk about are you getting old? And if you are, how old are you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyways, what do old people do is what my, actually what I wrote down. What do old people do and are you old is what I wrote down. I guess that's how I really wanted to say it. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, I have an old brain. <laughs> no, <Must you>. be. <laughs> Although, when I go to my physical, which this year I'm prepared. I am prepared. What are the three words? He gave that I me asked three words. Sunday. He gave me three words on Sunday. Can you imagine? And they were. Let me think how I want to say this because I always say one of them wrong because it's it's. Do you need the sunshine? Sun was one of them. To make a wood, and I always say, and it's tire, wood and tire. I think are the words, and I always want to say a wood wheel. Yep. <laughs> so sunshine, wood. And we all were my words. Tire. Or tire, I mean, oh my gosh, <laughs> tire. There I go again. It's in the same category, so I should be okay. But anyways, that's what the, they will do, and then they will have you draw a clock. I was going to practice drawing a, a grandfather clock or something fancy. I haven't done that yet. I should do that. But what they usually want you to do is just draw a face, an analog face. And I thought, what are they going to do when kids, when the digital kids generation. generation, yeah, comes along? Because they can't even tell time on a, on an analog, and then they tell you to say what time it is. And the little hand should always be pointing towards the hour. So just remember that. If it's three o'clock, the little hand is facing the three. If it's two o'clock, the little hand is facing the, the, the two. Then the big hand is the one that moves and tells you the minutes. That's the minute hand. The other one is the hour hand. <laughs> and if you're at the half hour, it's halfway they're, between. The little hand is halfway between two numbers. <sighs> Anyways, for those that are confused with that <laughs> clock, because when you have to draw it, you've got to make your hands long and short and put them in the right direction so that it tells the correct time. Or just draw a digital clock and write the time. <laughs> that they say, maybe. I don't think that'll, they won't like that. What do other old people do? Some old people take their teeth out at night. <laughs> I take my glasses off, but I don't take my teeth out. And they drop them in a jar, or drop them not a jar. My no. dad used to take his teeth out. My mom didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I saw my dad without his teeth, it was really funny. In fact, now that he's passed, his teeth are somewhere floating around. I don't know where. I should find them. <laughs> He has there. an extra pair because he had when he had his teeth pulled years and years ago, they apparently left a root in, and that root root used to or a bone in, or maybe it was a root too. I don't know what it would it be, was but a, it, it was a, a piece of piece the, of the tooth, the root of a tooth. Yeah, he used to file his own dentures to make him feel good. Probably about I don't know, maybe not even ten years that before he passed away. He went to our dentist, and our dentist found that he, that was left in his mouth, so he took it out, and then he made him a new pair of dentures, too. So that was interesting, maybe. Mm. I don't know. What else do old people do? <laughs> they sometimes wear protective undergarments. You could be old. You could be maybe not so old when you do that, too. I don't know. I know when I worked at McDonald's and I had to clean the men's bathroom, I used to find a lot of catheters. You know, those things they used to add. They don't even advertise those mm -hmm. in a long time where they you would know, show the guy every, discreetly putting it in the, his uh, pocket. Well, there'd be a lot of catheters in the mm -hmm. men's and a lot of pregnancy, pregnancy tests in the tests. girls. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not old. That's young. Yeah, mm -hmm. with, with the news. In fact, right now the news, we had it on just a little bit ago, and it's crazy because they're putting scare into people. So if you live in the... If you live in the eastern half of the United States, from well down but Pennsylvania, yeah, the the southeastern, down. yeah, they're talking. But I don't even want to say it because it's mm -hmm. not happening, but it's happening because people are scared. Remember how they took all the toilet paper? Well, now they're taking all the gas. 
and it's probably just a big old because you see monkey see monkey do kind of thing you see a car there and you see another car there and you think oh gee maybe I better go there too and that's what's happening and you see the news media and that's plastered and they're all plastering over their, it their oh page. they're making it worse they're making it so that it's it's crazy um what something else that old people do well they buy shoes that have velcro they don't want to tie their shoe they want to just slip it on. I do have some slip-on shoes, but not because I, I just like slip-on shoes because it makes it easier for me to slip them on, slip them off to go take care of the chickens because then I slide my foot in the boot. Otherwise, I would have to tie my shoe, which I can tie my shoe. I do like tie shoes. They fit. They feel tighter on your feet and more secure. So like if you're going to run or jog or walk, you want some tie shoes because they feel better. A lot of old people take naps, but then again, a lot of young people take naps. I don't take a nap, so I must not be old yet. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of pe old people can't cut their toenails anymore, They, but then there's a lot of people that like to go for pedicures. So that might be mm -hmm. a, be, depends on how much money you have kind of person. Mm -hmm. If you're young and you get pedicures, if you're old, you go to the foot doctor, <laughs> I guess. A lot of older people change their toilets out and make their toilet seats higher. I haven't done that. And a lot of people, when they're getting up out of the chair, they use their both hands and they push themselves off. I don't do that either. I just stand up. Use the thigh. You keep your leg muscles strong so that you can stand up. And a lot of people, when they walk, they walk with a shuffle. And they look down. So don't look down. Look straight ahead. Like, you're important. Remember? I had that talk one time. That if you look straight ahead, walk with your face. Look, look far. And... You'll look like you're going someplace important when you're just going to the mailbox, probably, or just walking down the street. Who knows where you're going, but it's no place important. But you'll look important. And when I worked at McDonald's, there was a lot of old people that used to like to come and have their morning coffee. The old guys used to gather there, and then some of the old ladies would gather... But they all didn't go to McDonald's. They went to McDonald's because I worked at McDonald's. But then when McDonald's was renewing, was redoing their building, the old ladies didn't like it anymore because they couldn't see the people coming and going. So they went over to Burger King. So we lost them. But then the golf club group of guys came. They used to come every morning before they went out golfing. And then when it was golf, golf season wasn't in happening they were just coming and they would just sit and they would talk and then there was the old old guys the ones in their 80s and 90s they were really interesting to listen to i enjoyed it well i guess that's it i i'm not old i don't think at least not yet i'm old in numbers but not old in my thinking i guess or maybe i am sold in my thinking and some thinking that i do i don't know so i have my i have old ways sometimes and then I have young ways too, so. But we don't but, let it slow us down either. No, nope, it's we not going to slow right down. We keep right on going, just like we're, we're twenty years old again. Uh, except I have a hitch in my giddy up. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a giddy up is? Remember Amos McCoy? How he walked with a giddy up, but I didn't. I don't walk with a giddy up. But Amos McCoy and the real McCoys. Oh, Grandpappy Ben's Amos. Smoke. No, it's Grandpappy Amos oh, and the yeah. real McCoys. And yeah. then Chester on Gunsmoke. He used to walk with a funny... Chester was, walked with a, a little bit of a um, hitch. Yeah. Well, I don't walk with a hitch, but I got a hitch in my giddy-up. <laughs> well, you take care, and I'll That's see you. That's the other thing. A lot of them don't know what Gunsmoke was. I know. They don't know what a giddy-up <laughs> is. All righty. Bye.